All right guys, so in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you do the bass shake effect all within Adobe Premiere. Get straight to the point. Right now, I'm gonna jump into Adobe Premiere and I'm gonna show you all exactly how you do this super simple effect that is also known as the earthquake video. If you haven't seen that yet, check that video out first, but I'm gonna show you guys right now in Adobe Premiere how you do this effect. All right guys, so the first thing what we need to do is you need to have two things. One is your video footage. Primarily, it would be something that is still or not moving, or if it is moving, make sure it's on a steady cam or a gimbal so you can actually apply the effect properly without getting your audience, whoever's watching it, way too jittery. So I picked here is just a simple drone shot. Drag this into my timeline. And then you wanna pick a song that has some sort of bass. So I'm gonna pick that as my in and out points. Drag that right here. And then the next point is you wanna go through this whole video clip, play it. And whether it's a bass technically or a snare, that's where you wanna press M. And that will leave yourself a marker right here. So for the sake of this video, just do it super simple. Not really bass, but it's snares, but it is the same principles that apply. Now, every time that the bass hits, the green markers right here will actually indicate where I need to place my effect. Next, what you want to do is I'm just going to trim it to look a little neater. Right click or this here new item, go into adjustment layers. So there's two ways that you can do this. The easiest way to do it is to do it with a directional blur. So I'm just going to go directional blur, drag this in and you can change your blur. and the angle of it. So for the sake of this, I'm just going to do it 90, or you can do 180, right? And then you want to cut that, right? And now that you have this little sliver, looks what happens. Now, all you need to do is hold Alt, right? That will duplicate it, and you drag that all over where you placed all of your base markers or where the base is supposed to be. So you can also do that effect with Gaussian blur. So I'm gonna go into my Gaussian blur here, search it up, drag that into my effects, get off the directional. You can change the amount of blur to make it more or less dramatic. Hold Alt, same thing applies. And now, and all that effect is essentially doing is you're just doing a little distraction technique. It's like, hey, look at this. It's a little bit of movement and it's also match cutting with the bass. And the last way to do it, a little bit more complicated, is you can have a little transform to it with the motion blur. So I'm just going to transform right here, distort. Get rid of all my other effects before and crank this shutter angle all the way to 360. And I'm going to uniform scale and zoom in. Let's say just this much, maybe like 104, right? One hundred four, right? Hit the keyframe, one one keyframe, and I'll go to one hundred one hundred one. Then hold Alt and move it all to where your markers are. And now look. So it has almost that that distorted effect. And then if you want to go for the special bonus you want to apply all of them or you can pair this up with directional blur. So look, look here. I'm gonna have 90, put on some blur on this. And this will give it a little bit more of that even more cinematic type of effect. 180, now look. 
And you can obviously play around with this. You can do different types of like techniques and different types of effects onto it. But the basics of the base effect or the base shake effect, directional blur and match cutting. And if you want to make it a little bit more neater, all you do is right click nest and you can call this your base shake effect, right? Right there. And now you can duplicate this as much as you like, as long as it matches with the cuts. There is a more complicated version of that in After Effects. You can do it with like Twix or Twitch, as well as a lot of motion controls. But this is for your basic beginner who wants to just understand the basics of the base shake effect. And they don't want to get it to the time and education that actually needs to do the more complicated version. This is the quick and dirty version. But I hope you guys like this video. And make sure you check all my other resources. Link in the description to get free 30 days off of Skillshare so you can become a better content creator. My name is Peter. You're watching Broke Vision Collective, where we all serve nothing, but you can always create something.